guess what? It is the first horse camping trip of the year! Ah! So in today's video, I thought I would show you guys everything that I bring horse camping. So let's start with the camping gear. This is all our camping equipment. You can see we keep it in these storage bins, but because it's just gonna be me and a girlfriend on this trip, I'm gonna try and consolidate as much as I can down to the bare minimum in just one tub. I have created a PDF checklist for you to download for free. And if you're interested in trying out any of the products that I show in the video today, Fame would really appreciate it if you would use our Amazon storefront or the affiliate links that are down in the description. So this is our tent. This thing is absolutely amazing. I can put it up by myself in like, a minute or two, it is super easy, and I love this thing. I highly recommend sleeping on a cot. An air mattress will not keep you warm and you do not wanna be sleeping on the ground. I also recommend getting a sleeping bag rated for a colder temperature than you think you will need. And then this is my Mr. Buddy heater. I learned the hard way on my last camping trip in November that when it drops into the 40s, that is just too cold and I cannot sleep whatsoever. So I actually bring this guy, and the large propane tank because I learned the hard way that if you use these small propane tanks, they only last about three hours on high. And when it's 30 or 40 degrees at night in your tent, you're gonna want it on high. So this time around, I'm actually bringing the big guy. I got, went and got it filled up. And then you can buy the special adapter hose to connect the two. So I only use these little propane things for the camping stove. Trusty camping stove, cutting boards. This is a collapsible bin that we use for doing dishes. Enamel camping plates. So this set is really cool. It is a lightweight nesting set of pots. So you've got a large pot, you've got your small pot, and then you've got a little skillet with a handle that pops out on top. You still want nonstick for eggs. I'm a coffee snob. So I've got my French press for coffee in the morning. Little camping egg container, bug spray, silicone pot holders. I love these mugs. They've got these little lids you can see. They pop off. You can throw them in the dishwasher. We use them both for coffee in the morning, oatmeal, for stew or soup at dinner time, for hot cocoa after dinner. They keep everything super hot. Little kettle. This lantern is fabulous. You can adjust the light and it's really bright. It's great for when the sun starts setting when you're cooking or if you get up before the sun rises to make coffee. Silicone spatula for eggs. Silicone ladle for soups and stews. Helps to be able to bend and get that last little bit out of the pot. Chef's knife, turner, camping utensils. This thing is magic. It is a USB plasma lighter. I don't know if you guys can see that. Dish soap and sponges. Always good to have extra Ziploc bags. Cleaning solution, paper towels, trash bags. I have a medical kit in my car, but we also keep an extra one with the cooking utensils just in case. Lanterns that you can adjust the light and then they collapse down for easy storage. You can recharge them with solar power or they come with a little USB. These are great for your tent at night. You know when you're getting dressed, when you're getting ready for bed and you don't want some big strong powered light but you need a little bit of ambient light. Baby wipes. I don't always shower when I go camping, so these do the trick. I really like this blanket. It's waterproof on one side and it's great for just kind of laying out on the grass if you want to just take a nap or just hang out. And then these guys I will fill up with fresh water that we can use for cooking and drinking. So one of my big camping secrets is in this big guy. So we pre-cook dinner. So we got beef stew, we got chili, we got chicken soup. We pre-make it, vacuum seal it, freeze it. They double as ice packs. We actually like using the food saver because these freezer Ziplocs do not stay sealed. You have been forewarned. Now, I really love these North Face duffels because number one, they're super spacious and roomy inside. I can fit four days worth of camping uh, clothing in here, no problem. They're really durable. The material is waterproof, so if you accidentally get your bag stuck in the rain or set it in some mud, it's really easy to clean off and your stuff is protected. And they also double as a backpack, which is extra cool. They also make a great toiletry bag, and I love it for all the same reasons as I love the duffel. Plus, it's got this cool little mirror and hanging kit too. I highly recommend bringing a laundry bag of some sort that you can stuff all your dirty clothes in because you never know what your clothing is gonna come in contact with when you're out camping and trail riding. Plus, it's just really easy to throw all your dirty stuff in one big bag instead of repacking it. I have learned the hard way that you really wanna invest in some good quality socks and underwear 
summer when you're horse camping and trail riding. You're either cold and you want to stay warm or it's really hot and you're sweating a whole bunch. These are darn tough Vermont socks. They're made in the USA. They have a lifetime guarantee. I'm totally a fan. If you are an allergy sufferer or if you're trail riding or horse camping in really dusty areas, sometimes all that stuff gets up in your sinuses and it can give you a really bad headache. So I always bring a sinus rinse kit. I talked to my dermatologist last year and found out that not all sunscreens are created equal and it's not just about the SPF. She highly recommended getting a zinc oxide based sunscreen. I guess the reason why zinc is better is because it provides immediate protection as opposed to the chemical based sunscreens take at least 20 minutes to kick in. So I use this one for my face and then I use something like a blue lizard or a copper tone zinc based sunscreen for the rest of my body if I need it. Hydration is another really important part of personal care when you are camping and I have learned that keeping myself hydrated with electrolytes has been super helpful in staying alert when I ride. So far I've had great success with tablets that dissolve in my water bottle or caplets. It's always best to keep your phone on your person rather than in your saddle. I also carry a knife in case I need to cut a horse free and then a handkerchief in case I get a runny nose or a cut finger. And then because most campsites have poor or no cell reception, I've invested in a satellite communication device called a Garmin InReach that allows me to text my loved ones and let them know that I've arrived safely or call for help in an emergency. And because I'm such a gear nerd, of course, I have to bring my Jackery portable power station and solar panel attachment so that I can charge all of my devices, my GoPro, my cell phone, my laptop while I am camping. I also couldn't do without my personal headlamp. Again, when you're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, the last thing you wanna do is sprain your ankle in a squirrel hole. Oh, and don't forget your camping chair. You know, with all the moving around you do when you're horse camping, it feels good to just sit down and relax. All right, so I'll show you the stuff that we bring for the horses. Okay, so obviously I've got my saddle here and I've got my saddle bags attached. I usually stick gloves and sunglasses in the front one and then I will keep lunch and um, stuff here. And then I also have a water bottle bag that I will attach to one of the rings. I prefer using a squeezable water bottle just in case my horse spooks when I'm trying to drink. I don't potentially knock my teeth out with the metal ones. And I also like too, if I'm loping, um, the, the squeezable water bottles are a little bit softer hitting against my horse. I also like to bring multiple cinches. So I really like mohair cinches. Um, they breathe and they have a little bit of give to them. And so I've got one here and I've actually got a spare one here. And I do the same for saddle pads. I really like uh, one inch wool saddle pads. So I've got one here and then I've got uh, my five star one here. Or eventually I'd like to have three cinches and three saddle pads, just simply because I tend to go on four day camping trips and I'm usually riding three or four times. And it's just nice to be able to put a dry saddle pad and cinch on your horse for each ride. And I find that they don't always dry out in time to be able to reuse them. So I've got my hay bag here with a nice big hole. I don't always use this, but it's just nice to have. A lot of times I will feed Fame in buckets or I'll just feed him his hay on the ground. I always like to have my spare tire uh, looking good and in good shape. I bring this, this is a trailer aid. If I do get a flat on my trailer, I can roll it up here, which leaves the other wheel free for me to change it. I like having a safety cone um, to either divert traffic in an emergency. I also keep a safety kit in my truck that has flares. This you can also use to kind of save your spot. So if you've got to separate your truck and trailer and go into town, it's nice to kind of leave this in front to remind people to leave enough space for you to park your truck. It is also helpful to bring a hose and I actually also bring um, an extra nozzle as well. A lot of the campsites that I've been to already have water hookups and hoses there, but sometimes the hoses really suck. And so it's nice to bring your own hose that you know doesn't have kinks or tears in it that you can hook up if you need to. It is important to be able to clean up after your horse when you horse camp. So I've got my trusty 
Durafork here that I've had for over a decade. It has lasted a good long time. I have a couple of different brooms. So then you also want to get a rolling cart for your muck bucket. It makes things a whole heck of a lot easier. I really like the setup that we have. It's sturdy. It goes over muddy terrain, varied terrain, rocky terrain, no problem. And I just find that it holds up better than some of the other setups that I've seen. This is my trusty Home Depot bucket with my camping toilet bags and my camping toilet seat. This thing is revolutionary. So most of the campsites I go to do have some kind of public restroom, but sometimes that restroom is far away or in the middle of the night when you're freezing cold, you don't wanna hike hundreds of feet to go to the bathroom. So I really like having this nearby just to take care of business. It is convenient. It's really easy to clean up. It is one of my most favorite camping items ever. And I've got a bucket here to store grain so that I've got grain and supplements to take on the road. I also definitely bring electrolytes to help replenish fame after we've done really long trail rides where I know he's, he's sweated a whole bunch. I also keep paste electrolytes as a backup in addition to the powder. Got my, my tack, my helmet. I bring rags because you never know when you might need those. I like to bring an extra lead rope just in case. And then I just keep my typical grooming equipment in here. So obviously I've got gloves, I've got brushes. I can't brag about this hoof pick enough. It is really nice and sturdy, feels good in the hand, and the tip is really strong and solid for those big draft horse hooves. It's also super important to bring some kind of leather gloves. Uh, you never know when you need these, whether it's because you're handling a muddy horse or a horse that potentially has walked through poison oak. I always make sure that I bring sunscreen for fame as well as myself, fly spray. I always keep WD-40 in my trailer. You never know when you need it, obviously for your trailer, but also I have been to locations where the pipe panels uh, the doors were rusted closed or I need to reconfigure a set of pipe panels and it's really important to have something to help loosen up some of those screws. I will also keep tools in my trailer at all times. So the hammer is mostly for driving tent stakes into the ground. This I typically will use again to adjust pipe panels at horse campgrounds. These needle nose pliers are great if I need to change out my latigos for any reason. So getting these le leather ties through the holes can be tricky sometimes. And I do always bring a uh, banamine with me just in case we have a potential colic coming on. It kind of helps them relax. It relieves the pain and the tension of colic. I would talk to your vet in advance of your camping trip to figure out what is gonna be the right uh, medication to bring with you. But very often I have heard experienced horse campers say that they were able to ward off colic just by administering a little bit of banamine to their horse to get them to relax, to eat and drink again. I also keep uh, betadine instead of hydrogen peroxide. So I recently cut my finger and the nurse told me that hydrogen peroxide can damage tissue and betadine is actually a better solution for cleaning wounds. So I now keep betadine both for when fame potentially gets cuts or when I get cuts. I use wonder dust. So if there is a mild wound that just needs to scab up, I will use this stuff on top of it after I have disinfected it. I do keep nitrile gloves in my trailer. I actually need to restock them. But again, these are great if I think we've walked through poison oak, if I need to check for ticks, if I need to protect my hands for any reason, wound care, what have you, it's always good to have nitrile gloves. And I've also got a blocker tie ring in here that I love to use to hook him up to a trailer or a high line. And then I will also bring something to put in between the tires on each side. You can actually buy plastic guards that will stop your tire. So if you need to park on an incline, uh, you've got a way to protect your trailer from rolling. Uh, or you can just use, you know, rocks, logs, whatever you find at your campsite. And then for hay, we usually bring a bale of alfalfa and a bale of grass, and that is plenty for a four-day camping trip for two horses. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you want to watch more videos on horse camping, you can check them out right here.